You know the biggest problem with Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 is? It's your hosts. Now, building them is great. We can do it by the thousands. But once they're deployed, you're kind of on your own. And we're going to change all that with AVD Image Templates. And all this is building on my last video on the Azure Image Builder portal. And I've got a few big announcements to share with you on how this is just the beginning of a big change to AVD. And I'll share some of that throughout the video. Now over in the AVD portal on the left, we have a new item, custom image templates. So let's create one. And right away, we have the option to start from an existing template, which is an awesome upgrade because Image Builder itself can't update a template today. But first, we'll start fresh and then come back to this part at the end. So give it a name and then select your subscription, resource group, and region, and then select your managed ID. Now this is a prerequisite for Image Builder to work, and it's where you create a custom role and assign that role to a managed identity. And I covered all that in that deep dive video I did last week. And since we have so much to cover here, let's move on. Now the source image for this build can come from the Azure Marketplace or an existing managed image or the Azure Compute Gallery, which means you can start from your existing custom image and then use this process to make new image versions, which is really cool. But we'll start with the Marketplace today, and I'll select Windows 11 Multi-Session 22H2 with Office Apps. And notice right over there, this is going to be a Gen 2 VM because it's coming from a Gen 2 image, which will become important later. Next, you want to choose how the image will be saved. Now, if you're using Windows 365, there is no support for a compute gallery yet. So you're going to need this top section for a managed image but ABD can use the gallery, or you could just do both. That way you've got the same image used for both services. So up here, you'll select the resource group and give it an image name and a location and then an output name. Then you scroll down and select your gallery, which of course, building one would be a prerequisite to using it here, along with the image definition. Again, covered in my last video. And you'll also need a version number here with a major, minor, and patch version, as well as an output name. Now, as for the replicated regions, I only recommend using one. This way the process will finish faster, and if you run into any problems, you didn't waste the last four hours waiting on replication. So I'm gonna choose the option for no, for excluding from latest, so that I can deploy this right away with my pools, but it's generally suggested you leave this on yes for updating an image version, so that way you can do some testing before rolling it out everywhere. And as for the storage type, it should almost always be standard LRS unless you're doing things zonally. Then click Next. Now this is the max time that the build will run before it's stopped, even if it's in the middle of processes. So your total build time will be how long your scripted install of all your customizations, which we'll talk more about in a minute and you're gonna love it, for that whole process to just finish. So the default here is 240 minutes, which I think will be good for now. Next, you need your VM size, which you can click here, and there's recommended ones for Gen 1 and Gen 2 VMs. But if you don't like either of those, click right over here, select the size that you think fits your needs, and then hit select at the bottom. Oh, just be sure that uh, this VM size supports the VM generation that you're using. And remember, this VM is only gonna be alive for a short period of time during the imaging process. So you could really go big here and finish a bit faster, and it'll only cost you a few pennies more. Now, if you're using a marketplace image as your source, your OS disk must be at least 127 gigabytes. But if you need more performance on your storage end, you just make this disk larger. Now, by default, the image builder process is gonna create a resource group that starts with IT underscore, and then have a long string after it. And that's where it's gonna work all of its magic and do all the processes and then capture that as an image. So the staging group option here is where you can specify an existing resource group to use instead of the IT underscore one. And that has a lot in common with the virtual network option. So by default, a temporary VNet will be created in that staging resource group, and that'll be where the VM lives and does all its processes. But you can select an existing virtual network if you need access to existing resources to complete your build. Like if one of your apps that you're gonna install has to be downloaded from your own file server. Now, if you wanna do either of those things, you're gonna need your managed ID to have permissions to access it. So open another tab here and at the top search for managed identities. 
and when you take a look at yours, over on the left, click Azure Role Assignments. At the minimum, you should see the resource group here where your image is going to end up living. And you're going to need to add some more, so click up here. Now the scope should be Resource Group, and the subscription will be selected for you automatically. Then pick your staging resource group, and your role needs to be Contributor. Then just click Save. And repeat the process if you want to add the resource group where your virtual network lives. This is where the fun begins. Here you can add your own publicly available scripts into your image. Just click over here and then give it a name and then give it the URL for the script. Now I'm going to discard all that because there's something even more awesome behind door number two. Click to add a built in script. Now just look at all that. Oh. Cool, 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 very cool, very cool. This is stuff that you guys have been asking for for years. It's like having your birthday, Christmas, and anniversary all rolled into one. And it's just checkboxes. I love that. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them, but here are some of the highlights, like languages. There's a ton to pick from. Or how you could disable storage sense for your multi-session VM so OneDrive doesn't have a problem. Now, FS Logix is already pre-packaged into your image, but here you could download the latest version, set your profile size, and specify your FS Logix share path. And you can enable your session hosts for Azure AD Kerberos with one click. Or how about Teams with AV redirection? And don't forget about your session timeouts. This takes your idle users and disconnects them until they hit the next limit when they'd be logged off so that you could do all your scaling and reduce your cost. Then there's the Windows optimizations, which takes all the normal Windows processes, scheduled tasks, and services that users really don't need in a shared environment and removes them all so you can have a slim and trim VM and get more density out of your hosts. And finally, Windows Updates. Now checking this box is a huge time saver. Not only will it install all the outstanding updates today, but this means that next month, and the month after that, and after that, you could change nothing else in your image, just go back and rerun the process with one click, and you'll get a brand new image version with all the updates from this month packed into it, ready to go. This is awesome. And it's just the beginning. My next video on this topic will take this updated image that we're about to create and automatically update your host pools. So click the subscribe button and the notification bell because you're not going to want to miss it. Now when you're done checking all your boxes here and having fun, click save at the bottom. And there's everything you asked for. Now before you click next, take a second and think about all the steps you're asking Image Builder to do. How long is that all going to take? And does that line up with the build timeout on the last page. But if you need to change yours, now's your chance. Then click next. We want to add all of our tags as you always should, and then click create. Now in a minute or two, the hard part here is done. You've got your image template, but we're not done yet. There's one more thing we need to do, and that's check the box for your template and click start build. This will submit the template to the image builder service and make all that magic happen. Now, if you look at your staging resource group, or you'll get a brand new one that's the IT underscore group, you see all your stuff is getting built. So while that's cooking, let's go back and look at updating a template. So jump back to the AVD portal, custom image templates, click to create a new one, give it a name, and then click right here to browse. Now I've got another template that's already gone through the build process, and there's all of its details. Here's where you can change the original source image that you were using in this template, to the one that you just created using the image builder process. Set your build properties just like before, make any customization changes you need to, just be sure that Windows Update is definitely checked for all the benefits I mentioned earlier, and then click Create. And there's your new template getting ready to do its thing. Now back in our staging resource group, once the process is done, the only thing that you should be left in here with is a storage account, and that's going to hold all the log files from the build. Back in the resource group where your image was going to land, you've got a new image version for your gallery, and you got this managed image for Windows 365, ready for you to import into Intune. And this AVD customization layer on top of the image builder portal is going to save you so much time and effort, and this is just the beginning, because the team is coming out with that other feature soon that will take these new images and automatically update your host pools with it, so you don't have to. Until that's available, you'll want to watch my deep dive on the Image Builder service so that you understand everything that's going on under the hood. 
and happy learning.